In this video, I am going to solve three problems from chapter 12, Rotation. First question. The angular position of a point on the rotating wheel is given by the equation theta equal to 2 plus 4 t square plus 2 t cube, where theta is in radian and t is in second. So that means in a rotating wheel, they mentioned the angular position. So that equation is given here as theta, which is equal to 2 plus 4 t square plus 2 t cube, where theta is in radian and the t is in seconds. And this question has four subdivision. We have to answer one by one. So in the first question, what they said, at a time t equal to 0, what is its angular position? So we have to substitute just t equal to 0 in this equation because this is the position equation. Am I right? The angular position equation. So in this equation, if you substitute t equal to 0, that answer is nothing but the answer for the first question. So let's we start. At a time t equal to 0, at a time t equal to 0, the angular position theta equal to 2 plus 4 multiplied by 0 square plus 2 multiplied by 0 cube, right? So anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So this term will gone. So the answer for the first question is 2 radian. Clear? So this is the answer for the first question. And in the second question, what we are going to find? We are going to find its angular velocity and after you found the value of the angular velocity, we have to substitute the time t equal to 0 because it's a continuation. Am I right? So they said at a time t equal to 0, what is its angular velocity? So for angular velocity, we don't have the equation. So what we are going to do, I am going to differentiate this position equation one time because if you differentiate the position one time, you will get the velocity. Am I right? After we found the value of the angular velocity, I am going to substitute t equal to 0. Clear? So let's be answer for the second question. So what is the second question? First of all, I have to find what is the angular velocity. What is the angular velocity? I have to differentiate. So omega, which is equal to d theta over dt, which is equal to d of, what is our theta equation? 2 plus 4 t square plus 2 t cube over d of t. Clear? And we have to use the rule of x power n, am I right? What is the rule for x power n? n x power n minus 1. So I'm going to apply this rule for t. So if you differentiate this equation one time, we will get velocity. So now I'm going to one by one. So differentiating the constant will give you 0. So if you differentiate the first term, it will give the answer of 0, right? 0 plus, and the power here is 2, am I right? So 2 multiplied by 4, which is 8, t power 2 minus 1. Am I right? So 2 minus 1 is 1. So I have to write 8 t power 1. I simply apply this rule for the t. Clear? Plus, I have to again apply this rule here. So the power here is 3. So n, n here is 3. So 3 multiplied by 2 is 6, t power 3 minus 1, which is square. So what is our final equation? So 8t plus 6t square is our angular velocity. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to substitute the value of t as 0 and after that we have to find found what is the value of the angular velocity. So at a time t equal to 0, at a time t equal to 0, the angular velocity equation which is equal to 8 multiplied by 0 plus 6 multiplied by 0 square, anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So what is the angular velocity at time equal to t equal to 0? The angular velocity at a time t equal to 0 is 0. So this is the answer for the second question. Clear? Okay, now we have to answer the third question. What is given in the third question? What is its angular velocity at a time t equal to 3 seconds? We already found the answer for the angular velocity, am I right? So that means I'm going to use this equation here. So the C part, 
I'm going to use the equation of the angular velocity because we already differentiated. Am I right? So the angular velocity omega, which is equal to 8t plus 6t squared. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to substitute the value of t equal to 0 because they mentioned in the question at a time t equal to 0, at a time t equal to 3 second, not 0, 3 second, what should be the value of omega? So what you have to do in this place of t, we have to substitute 3. So therefore, omega which is equal to 8 multiplied by 3 plus 6 multiplied by 3 square. So 8 multiplied by 3 is 24, right? And 6 multiplied by uh, 9. What's the value of 6 multiplied by 9? Which is plus 54. The total answer I have to add. So 24 plus 54, which is exactly 78 radian per second. The unit for the angular velocity is radian per second. So this is the answer for the third question. Clear? Okay. Now we have to answer the fourth question. What is given in the fourth question? Calculate its angular acceleration at a time t equal to 4 second. So if you want to get the angular acceleration, what we have to do, we have to differentiate this velocity equation one more time. Am I right? If you differentiate this velocity equation one time, you will get the acceleration. So what I am going to do, I am going to differentiate this omega one more time to get the acceleration. So the, the answer for the d part, which is equal to angular acceleration alpha which is equal to d omega over dt. After I found the answer for this acceleration, I'm going to substitute t equal to 4. So what is the equation for this omega? 8t square plus 6t square, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write here d of 8t plus 6t square over d of t. Again, you have to use the n power, x power n rule. So what you'll get? If you differentiate because here the power is 1 so if you differentiate this 80 you will get 8 and if you differentiate this 60 square what you'll get plus 12 t this is our equation for the angular acceleration now what you have to do we have to substitute time t equal to 4 second if time t equal to if the time is 4 second what is our angular acceleration so at a time t equal to 4 second the angular acceleration which is equal to I have to substitute t equal to 4 in this equation. So therefore 8 plus 12 multiplied by 4 which gives the answer of 8 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 4 right. So 12 multiplied by 4 is 48. So 8 plus 48 gives you 56 right 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 the unit is radian per second square understand so this is the answer for our fourth question and one more question you have and that question is related with the theoretical question so what is that question is its angular acceleration is a constant what we studied in chapter 2 our angular acceleration because when we studied the concept of the linear motion, am I right? Because actually, this chapter is a rotational motion. And what we studied earlier, the acceleration is not a constant. The acceleration is a is always depend on time. Clear? So that means the acceleration, the last question, the E part, am I right? So that is our fifth question. The acceleration always, the acceleration always depend on time if you substitute t equal to 4 second we got 56 if you substitute t equal to 5 second you will get another answer am i right so that means the acceleration is not a constant it will always depend on time so i have to mention it is not a constant so this is the answer for the last question clear the most important thing please while you just differentiate the term, do it properly. Clear? That's it.